Okay, so look, here we have the pro Donald Trump rally. So we have the pro Donald Trump rally here, lots of American flags. And this way we have the anti Donald Trump rally, much smaller, not as many people. We have some Mexican flags there. So I'm gonna check out the pro Trump rally first. There's more people here. So this is interesting. Like I said, there's distance between these two groups. But in Santa Maria, we haven't seen like protests and counter protests like this before. So I've seen these folks out here before. Let's see. Just gonna live stream, see what's going on over here. Hey guys, why are you out here today? I'm a journalist. Well, why are you out here today? I think it's pretty obvious. The flag, right? So I see you're wearing a mask, not everybody's wearing a mask. How do you guys, what's your reaction to the president testing positive for COVID? Bring your country together. Bring your country together. Okay, and you, sir? Yeah, we're praying for him every day. You're praying for him. What about you? What about me? I'm just reporting, sir. But I just want to see what's going on. I know we have some counter protesters over there. We haven't seen that before in Santa Maria. Oh, come on. What's your Fake thoughts news. on that? Fake news. You here well, they're right there. They've been here before. They've been here before. Well, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Has there been any conflict with them or anything like that? No, they back down. They're beta males. They back down. They're beta males. Okay. Yeah, but we're out here because we love our country. Okay. What did they tell you? Why are they out here? I haven't talked to them yet. I wanted to talk to you guys first. You got the bigger crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Trump can fill an NFL stadium better than the NFL. Wow! Wow! So what? Um, what? What's like? Is there any one point to this rally? Or is it just kind of pro-Trump? Vote, get out the vote for yes, Trump. First Amendment protected activity. Well, yeah, of course, but it, there, there's no message around other than Trump. We want to keep our constitution. You want to keep the constitution. Yeah, we want to keep our liberties and our rights, and our right to have elections. We don't want. Elections. Okay. We don't want Pedro Joe in the White House. He's been in office 47 years in government. Uh -huh. Get him the hell out of here. He needs to just retire. Let his dementia just set in. Okay. And so, you uh, did you just call him Pedo Joe? Pedo Joe. So do you actually think Joe Biden's a pedophile? What? Uh, well, you don't follow the facts? Well, well I, what's the facts? You uh, tell me. Well, you don't see him touching and kissing little kids? Well, yeah, of yeah, course. Well, there you go. Well, there you, but, go. you just answered your own question. Yeah, but does that make him a pedophile? He's hugged 100%. kids, he's touched kids. What, what, you support pedophiles? Are, are you really asking me that question? Is that a serious oh, question? Are you pedophiles? No, yeah. no, I'm not. But I don't well, know. I don't know whether or not Joe Biden is a pedophile. I haven't made up my mind. Listen to me. I haven't made up my mind whether or not Joe Biden is a pedophile. I'm not sure. Okay, well, go do your research. You I'm not sure. Service, right? But what what have you seen that other than him, yeah, touching people in public like he's done with adults and kids and there stuff. There you go, you just answered it. Well, but what other evidence do we have? All right, we got an Infowars uh, there. How about you, sir? How do you feel about that? Do you think Joe Biden might be a pedophile or something? I, I just want to say that any party in the United States that would put forth a man with dementia and is not totally up to, to this job uh -huh. is just kind of retrospect. Let you know what that party like. They'll do anything, anybody to get power. Okay. If that was your dad, how would you feel about it? If that was your best friend, how would you feel about it? So you think it's uh, elder abuse? Uh, I think it's totally elder abuse. And they're doing it because they know the public is so stupid that they'll they'll feel sorry for it and want to vote oh, yeah. But in reality, he has oh, no. nothing to do with the party. It's like 47 years old. Interesting, interesting. Cool. Anything else you want to add, sir? No, I'm voting for the United States of America. Cool. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for telling me how you think and how you feel. Oh, oh I'm not. coming through. I'm independent. Fake news coming through. Independent? Yeah. So you're, you're, you're calling me fake news, sir? No, I'm 
Well, he is. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You you call me fake news. You support pedophiles? Get out of here, man. Are Get you out of here. are you serious right now? Fake news coming through. Okay, guys. So there's a Trump supporter here who's calling me fake news, and that I support pedophiles because I don't agree uh, with him that there's evidence to suggest that uh, Joe Biden may or may not be a pedophile. We should remind you that Donald Trump has been uh, accused in court of pedophilia as well, of uh, raping a 13-year-old with Jeffrey Epstein. He hung out with Jeffrey Epstein. So this is the weird discourse that we live in where uh, I'm out here just trying to report on the community and this pro-Trump uh, group. And this guy has now called me fake news and uh, uh, pro-pedophilia, which is very strange. Um, you know, I, I didn't make any claim uh, positive or negative that I thought uh, what I think about Biden and that, but now he's yelled this out to everybody that I'm fake news. So there's this whole rally, this group of Trump people who uh, have now been told that I'm fake news and that I'm pro pedophilia. So this is some QAnon stuff, right? This is some uh, QAnon belief. And if I'm honest, do I really feel safe walking in this crowd? of Trump supporters after this guy just called me pro pedophilia and all this stuff and, and uh, fake news. I'm not sure. We know how the president feels about journalists and journalism. So, so I gotta admit, it's a little uh, unnerving. <laughs> hey buddy, why are you out here today? Cool, man. Cool. I appreciate I appreciate you sharing that with me. Absolutely. We gotta fight for our, our republic. All right. And do you, do you think the republic is at stake in this election? Uh, I, I just hope that the Republican Party can come together and unite. What's your uh, reaction to the news that uh, President Trump has been infected with the virus? I, I think it's uh, obviously most unfortunate. I think he's I think he's gonna make it. I think okay. he's got uh, the best doctors around him. Yeah, that's and for sure. I think Walter he's Reed. Alex Champ. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah. So I just had a guy, uh, um, you know, get upset with me, and uh, uh, he he believes that Joe Biden is a pedophile, and he <laughs> accused me of being pro pedophilia uh, because I, I wasn't so sh sure that that's the case. Right. Where do you fall on that? How do you feel about that? Do you do you? Um, I, I think Biden, obviously, you know, nobody's perfect, but I, I, I'm more concerned about his uh, mental awareness. And yeah possibility of uh, some serious dementia. You yeah. Know, I just don't think, I don't see him as being a strong leader. I understand that. And, um, you know, I, I, uh, I've seen that about Biden. People close to Biden, people in his staff have said he's lost a step. And I don't, I don't think that that it's is out of the norm to, to be concerned about that. Um, but, you know, uh, I've heard this accusation a lot that he's a pedophile and uh, a lot of this is connected to QAnon and this kind of conspiracy thinking. Have you, are you aware of this? Have you seen any of that content maybe online or on social media or no, talking to people? Really, I don't really dig into it. Um, I mean, I've heard some stuff about Hunter and some uh, you know, prost prostitution rings and things like that. Hmm. But that's his son. He's obviously not you know, the vice president. So, but yeah, I know they, they have a checkered past. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, getting money from foreign governments and mm -hmm. influencing. Um, and and you don't see that concern with um, Donald Trump and like. It's not perfect. I mean, yeah, he's obviously hustled to get where he is. He's probably mm -hmm. done some shady things. Yeah. But I think. Uh, you hear what the coyotes think? I hear. They need to develop their vocabulary. Yeah, no doubt. He's dropping f bombs. I think at the end of the day, he, he's fighting for hard-working Americans and the Republican Party has become a working party. Where the Democrats have been, become, unfortunately, they used to be the working party, now they're the handout party. Hmm. We want uh, socialism, handouts, and it all boils down to Chinese labor. Yeah. So, um, we do have these counter-protesters here. Have they been here before? I mean, I... I, I was here, the last time we had one in Santa Maria a couple of months ago. They weren't here? Yeah, I think there were maybe one or two guys standing on the corner that were hollering with profanities. I don't know okay. Who tied to, but these guys are okay. BLM. But you're not. Well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, um, but you're not concerned about about this at all. It's just like, eh, whatever. Cool. Cool. Hey, they have a right. They, yeah. As long as they maintain uh, law and order. Hey, you know. It's all First Amendment. Already breaking the law. You can't stand on a street corner and yell at 
Yeah. What? You can't say the F word? Well, I don't, I think that's profanity. Are you allowed? Well, that's protected speech under the First Amendment, right? It's yeah. It's just bad taste. You can't cuss? No. I'm just wondering. Huh? In Lompoc? In Lompoc, yeah. Okay. Uh, because they were across the street. Okay. Over and over. And over. I see. They were in front of the family. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I would have to look I, I, at the legal I code. I don't know either, yeah. but that's what we were doing. Understood. Ma'am, let me ask you something. You're out here today. You're, put, you're uh, uh, you know, demonstrating your support for the president. Um, you're not wearing a mask. You know, uh, some of people here are. Um, uh, how have you reacted to the news of President Trump uh, contracting the virus? I pray that it'll be over soon. I pray that it'll be over. You had COVID? Amen. How'd that go? I was sick for a while. Yeah. My grand, I was with my family of seven, uh -huh. grandkids and everything. All of us came through them. I have asthma. My, one of my grandsons had asthma and it took us a while. Wow. He kicked it. Wow. No, no antibiotics, no nothing. Uh -huh. He kicked it. Okay, so are, you're you're not worried about contracting it no. again or passing it, no. maybe possibly to other people. No. Okay. okay. I, I'm honestly not. Okay. You know. Cool. Well, been thank there, you. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sharing with me. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Of course. So, as you can see, we got uh, pro-Trump people who believe like. It runs the gamut, right? Uh, the common denominator, the, nor the kind of more normal-ish Republicans think that Joe Biden uh, is old and senile and has, you know, dementia. That's kind of their, what they're going to. Uh, but then one guy said that Joe Biden is a pedophile and, you know, accused me of supporting pedophilia and called me fake news. So that's the level of the discourse. They were also kind of expressing concern about the protesters down this way. And they're saying, they're yelling the F word, you know, fuck Donald Trump and all that kind of stuff. And people are saying, oh, that, well, that might be against the law. I do see a Black Lives Matter sign. I see a rainbow flag, a Mexican flag. So I'm going to try to talk to some of these people and see what's going on. I see Charlene is saying, be careful. I'm being careful. I think everything's fine here. So it looks like there's a guy following me and filming me as well. You can probably see him back there, but... Again, not too worried about it. But here, I'm coming up on the other group. Let's see here. All right. The president doesn't pay his taxes. And now he has COVID because what? We're paying for his medical supplies. We're paying for his doctors. And he, he says the Mexicans don't pay taxes? That's bullshit. We pay taxes. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. So we do have some Trump supporters Trump. coming here. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck 45. Fuck Donald Trump. So it looks like just people getting content like me. We're doing their live streaming. Hey buddy, why are you out here today? Hey buddy, I'm a journalist. Fuck 45! Fuck Donald Trump! 
<laughs> yeah. Hey buddy, why are you out here today? I'm a journalist. I'm reporting on the whole situation. Why are you guys out here today? Fuck Donald Trump. It's an embarrassment to support Donald Trump, she said. So as we can see, we got a bunch of flags out here. How are you doing today? I'm neutral. I'm not here to stir things up. Say what? Okay. Trump is a puto. So as you can see out here guys like everybody's mad Hi, you know, these are like heightened tensions. People are pissed off. Some Trump supporters came here a second ago. I don't know if they kind of associated me with him. They don't like me filming them. I understand. Uh, um, you know, so it's whatever. But yeah, I'm getting so we're getting hostility from both sides. Everybody's angry. This is kind of indicative of, uh, you know, a lot of, I mean, these things have happened all over the country where we have a demonstration and a counter demonstration. Sorry about that. We have a demonstration and a counter demonstration. And so people are filming me on the Trump side. People are filming me over here. Uh, and I'd like to talk to some of these folks and see what they have to say. Like I talked to the Trump supporters. Um, I know sometimes uh, 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 people involved in these counter demonstrations are afraid, uh, you know, of whatever, but, you know, getting targeted or being recognized and stuff like that. But, you know, you know, it's, I'm, I'm just a journalist. I'm just here to, to cover everything. So, but let's see. All right. So I'm going to follow them. It looks like they're heading towards the Trump supporters. I just want to see what's going on. This is interesting. <laughs> Guy just drove by saying fuck Trump. Alright, so they're heading towards the Trump supporters. This should be interesting.
There we go. We got to fight.
So the SMPD's here now. Um, there was some fisticuffs between some of the counter uh, demonstrators and the, the, the Trump people. And uh, you know, they're yelling Antifa. Each side is calling the other supporters a pedophilia and all this stuff. Here's the guy who got in the fight right here. So he's the one there uh, uh, with the hoodie. He got in a kind of fisticuffs with a guy who I saw earlier. I think I recognized him from my high school and junior high. So here's the SMPD officer here trying to get some peace. Probably trying to get them to disperse. How you doing? I'm doing great. I have a Pelosi pass. What's that? You know what? I don't. Then wake up someday. What are you talking about? <laughs> this guy just said he has a Pelosi pass. I don't know what that means. Tensions are high in Santa Maria, folks. Tensions are high. What's up, dude? This is a good buddy of mine, a Santa Maria Times reporter out on the beat. What are you seeing here today? Chaos. Chaos, this lady says. Chaos and unrest. Right? Violence in the streets. But, uh, looks like the Santa Maria PD is trying to get some, uh, Calm, I want to get a little closer. But understand that that's a semantics argument. Peacefully doesn't sound like, hey, I'm going to go jump on where these guys are already staged. These guys are already staged. They did the same thing to our Hey. Hi. This guy's filming me, he's a little aggressive. Hey buddy, I'm a journalist. I'm not on either side of any of this. Yeah, no, no, no. I just want to ask a question. Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I I saw some fisticuffs between between two guys, or at least close to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. What? Why are you guys out here today? Yeah. What's that? We all just need to band together, regardless of what. But I mean, obviously, that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen right now. Yeah. So who knows? But yeah, we're just we're just here trying to give a voice to people who don't have a voice. Yeah. What What is the election of Donald Trump and his supporters and all that stuff? What has that meant for people like you and your and your community? Uh huh. And I, I was getting a lot more hate and stuff. Just out of nowhere, I'd be walking down the street, people call me faggot, uh, they call me um, fucking fake, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. it's just, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's just a time and a place, but at the end, it's probably nothing we can do, but we're trying. Have you ever done anything like this before? Have you ever? This is my first time. This is your first time protesting at all. And like, it's, it's interesting because I've seen how people on, on either side, like this whole situation in America has like, I, you could use the term radicalized, but I just mean it's like uh, spirited people to do something. And so why, why, why do you think even, even doing something like this, like getting in the, you know, coming in amid all of these people obviously don't feel the way you do. Well, why is that an important thing to do for you? 
Mm -hmm. um, it's, we, just, we just need our voices heard, but then we get some like that, like, we, you know, we're talking about we're talking Uh huh. About yeah. Public is how we like speak. Yeah. Yeah, so. Hello, doggies. Thanks for speaking with me, sir. Yeah, thank you. So as you all can see, the SMPD is here. It looks like they're kind of moderating the situation. They're trying to ask the uh, the, the counter-protesters to kind of give these people their space, move along. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was like a, a scuffle between two people. They were shoving each other and then they kind of like squared up with fists ready to go. So. Um, we now have, you know, an SMPD presence here. They kind of have the counter protesters off to one side and they're kind of trying to talk talk to them. And, uh, you know, but as the counter protesters are saying, why us, they, they walked up towards us and the police are saying, listen, you know, obviously all these people are here, you guys came into their area. So it's just, it's a bit of a back and forth and they're just talking it out. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm glad they're here. It was obviously getting violent if you guys saw it. So it's just kind of a whole, situation um let's take a look <laughs> so i'm gonna call it that was like you know i don't know how it gets more interesting than that guys uh Obviously, we have a situation here in America, including in sunny Santa Maria. Even though we have, you know, uh, poor air quality and everything today, uh, the sun's still out. Um, obviously, uh, their people are upset and they, you know, it's kind of... The discourse has so um, thoroughly devolved, you know, um, People aren't just respectfully disagreeing anymore. Either side is accusing the other of supporting a pedophile. If you're not familiar with this, Joe Biden uh, is the target of a lot of QAnon conspiracy theories. Um, there's also lots of footage of him, you know, inappropriately touching young girls and women and, you know, a bunch of people. And that's always been Joe Biden's been a handsy guy and all that stuff. Do I think he's a pedophile? I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure there's evidence for that. He's a creep, obviously. Joe Biden's creepy. That's why I didn't support him in the uh, in the primary. But uh, so you know, but uh, very aggressive. Everybody is very aggressive. I went and talked to the Trump supporters. You know, they immediately accused me. One of them did anyway of supporting pedophiles and pedophilia and all that stuff. I went to talk to the counter protesters, and they were just kind of like, "Fuck you, go away." Uh, we, you know, read our sign, bitch, I think somebody said. Um, but then I followed them and, they, you know, they got right in the midst of the Trump supporters. Go look at that. And, uh, you know, they, it, it got ugly. You know, people started swinging. Uh, there were these two guys, um, a counter demonstrator and a Trump supporter who were swinging at each other. And, you know, it happened like right next to me. And I was just kind of watching it I'm like, well, you know. I've seen this, we've seen this again and again all across America. Sometimes it gets more violent than this. But um, here we are, you know, Santa Maria, it's, we're not any better or more special than any other place in the United States where people are doing this, where, you know, 
Uh, you know, to, uh, people are counter demonstrating against Trump supporters and Trump supporters are demonstrating and things get violent. This is just the level of discourse that our country has devolved into. And uh, I'm not for it. I don't, I don't think it's a good thing. Um, back in my car now. Uh, but there you have it, folks. It looks like they are um, kind of going to separate a little bit the two groups. Um, but I've seen enough. I mean, this is kind of what I expected. Um, the, the, the numbers and the counter de demonstrators, I mean, there was just like a dozen of them. And there were like several dozen Trump supporters. Um, with their flags and everything else and you know I had a bunch of uh, a bunch of people on the Trump side like get in my face with their phones get really close to me they're not wearing masks one lady said she had it go back and had already had COVID go back and look at that um, but here we are you know this is this is America so um, thanks for watching you guys I'm going to uh, call it just wanted to do this really quick. There it was. You all saw it for yourself. I just wanted to document something going on in my uh, hometown, Santa Maria, California, October 3rd, 2020.